All right, friends. Shabbat shalom and good Shabbos. Shabbat shalom. Oh, well, I don't know if that's going to work now. Well, sorry if uh, we're looking a little off tonight with the camera. It doesn't seem to want to play nice tonight. But at least you can see part of me, so you'll be able to hear us. <laughs> so that's, uh, I guess that's a bonus. That would be a, a bonus. All right. It is Friday night. It's a beautiful Friday night here in Huntington. It is the last Shabbos of uh, April, also the last Shabbos of Nisan. Uh, Rosh Chodesh starts uh, Sunday night, uh, or, I'm sorry, tomorrow night into uh, uh, Monday, Yom Rishon and Yom Sheni. So we are through the month of Pesach officially. We are through Pesach officially. And now just to get back into the swing of things. So let us begin. Uh, with uh, Benching Licht, it will have Suzanne come up. And we'll see. <clears throat> oh, that's the problem. That's the problem. The owl's long. Here we go. Push forward and pull the trigger. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kedoshanu B'Mitzvotah B'Tzivanu B'Hadlik Ner Shel Shabbat Amen. Thank you. All right, let's uh, continue on page six. Page six, uh, reading responsibly in the middle of the page. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May we welcome all who are here to learn things to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May the special beings that are in the keep the young or feet. May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter, go away to a richer and more meaningful life. Go back old school. Right now. Just going to... Move it all old school like we used to do right here in front of the Amud. Did it come unplugged? No. Let's see here. There we go. Hopefully it'll stay. And oh, I remember these days. All righty, let's jump to page 20, and we will uh, start to welcome the Shabbos queen as she comes to spend Shabbat with us with Lecha Dodi. Lecha Dodi likrat kala b'nei Shabbat nikabila. Lecha Dodi likrat kala Pene <laughs> <laughs> Likrat Shabbat lechu venecha, ki mekor ha-bracha, me rosh mi kedem nehesucha, sof ma'ase b'machshava t'chila, lecha dodi likrat kala, penehe Shabbat nekabila, mikdah ha-shmelech, 
Ihr Melucha, Kumitze, Ihr Mitocha, Fecha, Ravla, Hakshebe, Behemer, Habacha, Vehuya, Hamola, Lai, Hemla, Lecha, Dodi, Livrat, Kala, Penehe, Shabbat, Nikabila, Hikna, Rime, Afar, Kumi, Leave she big deity for te chami, al yad ben ishe beit lachmi, korva el nafshi gehala, lecha do di li krat kala, pinehe shabahat nikabila, he tore he, he tore he, ki hiva urek kumi hi uri, 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 Shir da Beri, Kivoda do Nahai alaich nigla, Lecha do di likrat kala, Penehe shabahat nikabila, Lote voshi veloti called me, Mahatish tocha hi umate me, Bach ye chesu ani ye he al mi, Bini hif neta ir al tila, Lecha do di li grad kala, Pene he shabahat ne kabila, Vahayu le shim sa, Shoho sa yich, Virahacha kuhu ko meva la yich, Yasi sa la yich, Eloha yich, Ki him so shahatan hal kala, lecha do di li grat kala, penehe shabahat ne kabila, yamin ul small, ti hi frozi, vieta do nahai taharitzi, al yahad ish behen partsi. Veni smecha venagila, lecha do di li grad kala, penehe shabahat ne kabila, bo i vishalom ateret bala, gaham basim chauf sola, tochemune eam segula. Bawihi chala, bawihi chala, lecha do di li grad kala, penehe shabahat ne kabila. Let's turn to page 22 for Psalm 92, or selections from Psalm 92. And let's read the top uh, English paragraph together. A psalm, a song for Shabbat. It is good to praise Adonai, to sing hymns to your name, O Most High, to proclaim your steadfast love at daybreak, your faithfulness each night, with a ten-stringed harp, with voice and lyre together. You have glad me by your deeds, Adonai, I shout for joy at your handiwork. How great are your works, Adonai, how very subtle your designs. A brute cannot know, a fool cannot understand this. Sadi <laughs> Oh, Jinu, who would be saved? The shame in Vera Ananim, ye you le ha gi, ki a shahara do nai, so Welcome the angels on the next page, page 24, with Shalom Alechem.
Shalom Aleichem, Malachi Hashari, Malachi El Yon, Mihi Melech, Malachi Amlachim Hakadosh Baruch Hu. Boachem le Shalom, Malachi Hashalom. Malachi el yon Mi melech malache amlachim Akadosh Baharuhu. So, ahead for the evening service, we have uh, welcome Shabbat. Shabbat is with us. Page 146, Baruchu. Baruchu. Baruch Adonai Hamvorach, Le'olah Ba'ed. Let's read together on page 147, the three English paragraphs. Adonai, your majesty, is proclaimed by the marvels of earth and sky. Sun, moon, and stars testify to your power and wisdom. Day follows day in endless succession, and the years vanish, but your sovereignty endures. Though all things pass, let not your glory depart from us. Help us to become co-workers with you and endow our fleeting days with abiding worth. Baruch atah Adonai ama'ariv aravim. 148. Ahava tolam beit Yisrael amcha Torah umit vot, who kimu mishpatim, O tanu li madita. Al kena do nai elohe nu, Bishope nu uhuf kume nu, Nasiach behu hu kecha. Benismach bedivre Torah Uve mihit votecha, Leo lambaed. Ki heim chayenu, vi orech yamenu, vi orech yamenu. Uva hem nege yomam balayla, yomam De ahava techal tasimi menuli olamim, Baruch atah donai, O hevam ho Yisrael. Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad. The Ahavtaha eight Adonai Elohecha, the whole of Achaha, the whole Nafshecha, the whole Meodecha, the Hayu Advarim Haele, Asher Nochi Mitzavecha, Ayahom Alva Becha, Vishinantaham Levanecha. Vidi Baharta Bam, Bishif Techaha, Bave Techa, Uvlek Techaha, Vaderech, Uvashok Bechaha, Uvkumecha, 
Ukshar tamle ohot al yadecha vehayula totafot bene necha uchtav tam al mezuzot betecha uvisharecha lemahan tizkeru vaasitem et kol mitzvotai vitem kedoshim lelohechem ahani. Adonai Eloheichem, Asher hotzeti etchem, me eretz mitzrayim, liot lachem, lelohim, Ani Adonai Eloheichem. On page 151, let's read responsively in the middle. We worship the power that unites the universe, a promise of harmony for all. Before our eyes, there is a vision of perfection, order, and goodness. When will redemption come? Long ago, we escaped the tyranny of Egypt. Our people saw the power of the Most High. Top of 152. Mihamoha Bailimadonai. Mihamoha Zeli anu viamru Adonai yim loch liolaham vahed Benem har kifad Adonai et yaakov Uga alom yad chazak mimenu Baruch atah Adonai Ga'ahal Yisrael Top of 153 verse, uh, The top two lines from Hashkivenu. Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vehaamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim Hashkivenu Adonai Eloheinu Lishalom Vehaamideinu Shomreinu Lechaim Let's read together in the English. Give us a place to rest, O God. Shelter us in the long, soft evening shadows of your truth. You are true protection and safety. In your presence, we find love and acceptance. Watch over us as we go forth. Prepare for us as we return. Spread over us your shelter of peace over all we love, over our Jerusalem and yours. Baruch atah Adonai. Continue on the next page. The Shabru, top of one fifty four. The Yisrael, La aso te tahashahaba, le dorotam berito lam, le shamru, le nehe Israel, eh tahashahaba, la aso te tahashahaba, le dorotam berito lam, beni uvein, bene Israel. B'nei Yisrael, oh, ti liolam. V'shamru, v'nei Yisrael, et ha-shabat. La'asot et ha-shabat, le'dorotam berit o'olam. Ki sheshet yamim, asa Adonai. Asa Adonai et Hashamayim, 
Viet ha aharetz vishamru v'nei Yisrael et hashabat v'asot et hashabat l'dorotam berihit olam u'vayom hashvi'i shabat v'inafash shabat v'inafash. Shahabahat vayina fash Veshamru v'nei Yisrael Et ha-shahabat La'asot et ha-shahabat L'dorotam v'rihit olam We are at the centerpiece of the evening service, the central prayer of our tradition the Amidah, and we're on 155, 156, and 157, which we'll chant together, and then we'll go silently so you can finish the Amidah on your own, and you can read, uh, continue in the Hebrew, read the English translations, or offer up your own prayer during the silence. But we'll begin together on 155. Adonai sifatai tiftah ufiya gita ilatecha. Adonai sifatai tiftah ufiya gita ilatecha. Adonai, open up my lips that my mouth may declare your praise. Baruch atah Adonai. Eloheinu, Elohe Avotenu Vimotenu, Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov, Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Rachel, Elohe Leah, Ha'el Hagadol Hagibor Bahanogra, El El Yohod, Gomer Chasadik Tovim, Vekone ha kohol, Mizocher haste avot ve imahot, who may be goel ibne venem, Leman shimho be ahava, Melech ozer umoshia umagi, Baruch ataha adonai, Magin avraham, Bezrat sarah, Atagi bor the olam adonai, Mechaye meti matarab la hoshiha. Mashiv ha ruach, umorid ha tahal. Mechal keel haim bechesed. Mechaye meti merachamim rabim. So ho mech no flim, pero fe ho holim. Umatir asurim. Umekahaye <speaking in Hebrew> Baruch atah Adonai, v'chayyei
So completing your Amidah, please continue at your own pace. We're going to be on 160, 160. In the middle, let's read together. May these hours of rest and renewal open our hearts to joy and our minds to truth. May all who struggle find rest on this day. May all who suffer find solace. May all who hurt find healing on this day. May all who despair find purpose. May all who hunger find fulfillment on this day. And may we all live in such a way that this day fulfill its promise. Baruch ata Adonai mekadesh hashabbat. Page 163, a little bit of modim, a little bit of thanksgiving. And let's read responsively at the top. For the good in us, which calls us to a better life, we give thanks. For the desire in us, which leads us to work for peace, we are grateful. And let's turn the page to 164 and we'll close out as we always do with the prayer for peace. In the evening, it is Shalom Rav. Shalom Rahav al Yisrael Amcha Tasim Leolam Shalom Rahav al Yisrael Amcha Tasim Leolam Ki Atahu Melech Adon Lechol Hashalom Ki atahu melech adon lechol hashalom. Shalom rahav al Yisrael amcha tasim leolam. Shalom rahav al Yisrael amcha tasim leolam. The tov benecha levarech et amcha Yisrael bechol etu bechol shah bishlohecha shalom rahav al Yisrael amcha tasihim leolam. Shalom Rahav al Yisrael Hamcha Tasihim Leolam Tasihim Leolam Tasihim Leolam Praise are you Adonai who blesses your people Israel with peace. Baruch Ata Adonai Jump ahead to 253, the Mishaberach, prayer for healing. If you have anyone who needs a little bit of extra healing, keep them in your thoughts and close to your heart. Mi shebeirach avoteinu mekor habracha leimoteinu. Bless the source of us, who bless the ones before us. Help us find the courage. To make our lives a blessing and let us say Amen. Mi shebeirach imoteinu mikor habracha lahaboteinu. Bless those in need of healing with Rifuah Shlehema. 
The renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say, Ah, 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 Pages 258 and 259. And uh, Judy, would you read the prayer for our congregation, please? Source of all being, may the children of this community learn these passions from us. Love of Torah, devotion and prayer, and support of the needy. May we guide with integrity and may our leadership be in your service. May those who teach and nourish us be blessed with satisfaction, and may we appreciate their time and their devotion. Bless us with the fruits of wisdom and understanding, and may our efforts bring fulfillment and joy. Baruch ata Adonai, she'otecha levacha b'ira na'avod. David, how about the prayer for our country? Which one more, first or second? Which one? Dealer's choice. O oh, guardian of life and liberty, may our nation always merit your protection. Teach us to give thanks for what we have by sharing with those who are in need. Keep our eyes open to the wonders of creation and alert to the care of the earth. May we never be lazy in the work of peace. May we honor those who have died in defense of our ideals. Grant our leaders wisdom and forbearance. May they govern with justice and compassion. Help us all to appreciate one another and to respect the many ways that may serve you. May our homes be safe from affliction and strife. And our country be sound in body and spirit. And let us say, Amen. Shalom, shalom, Yerushalayim. Yishlayu, ohavayich. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. Avinu shabashamayim. Tzor Yisrael v'goalo. Barech et medinat Yisrael. Reishit smichat ulatenu. Hagen aleha b'evrat chastecha. Ufros aleha sukat shlomecha. Ushlach uracha v'amitecha l'rasheha. Sareha v'yowetseha. V'tak neim v'eitza tova milfanecha. V'natata shalom v'aretz. V'simchat olam v'yoshveha. V'namar amei. O Heavenly One, Protector and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel, which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. Amen. All right, friends. Shabbat Shalom and good Shabbos. Oh, you know, we're not in the most thrilling of Torah portions these next couple of weeks, but I tell you what, there's a lot to be learned from them. This week, it's Acharimot. It means after the death. And this is uh, a number of partial back. We learned of Abraham's sons, Nadav and Abi, who, who brought strange fire, right? They did something they weren't supposed to do, and um, God killed them. And so this parsha pretty much reminds us of, of, of that event. It happened back in Parsha Shmini um, a number of weeks, a couple of weeks ago. Um, Acharimot is often paired with uh, next week's portion called Kiddushim, but uh, because this is a leap year, we each parsha gets its own uh, special Shabbat. And so Acharimot describes the ritual for the sin offerings that Aharon is to bring for himself, for his family, and for on behalf of the people. And there's an interesting discussion of this idea of Azazel. Now, Azazel, if you are paying attention during the high holidays, uh, gets mentioned a number of times because that is the scapegoat. It's part of the Yom Kippur ritual as expressed in the, the Torah. Basically what happens is two goats are selected. One is designated Ladonai, one is designated for God. The other one is designated for Azazel. And uh, the one that's dedicated to God is sacrificed and its blood is dashed on the altar. And Azazel, the one for Azazel, is taken to the city gates. It's slapped on its tuchus and it heads out in the wilderness ostensibly to die. 
And uh, we're not 100 percent sure what this Azazel actually is. Is it some sort of old ritual that was done on behalf of, a, of, a, of an ancient god or something? But it becomes part of the, the uh, Yom Kippur ritual and it becomes part of the English language, the scapegoat. All of Israel's sins were placed on the goat for Azazel and sent out instead of the children of Israel. Um, and this is all part of the command within this week's Parsha of, of observing Yom Kippur, which is called a day of expiation, a day of atonement. And so this is where we find it, right here. And then chapters 17 through 26 of the book of Leviticus, not all of these chapters are found this week, they extend for the next two Parshiot, are called the Holiness Code which is an interesting series of chapters in which rituals for the Kohanim are put out, are put forth, but so are rituals and ways of behavior for B'nai Yisrael. It's one of the few times in uh, Leviticus that it, there's really both the B'nai Yisrael sections and the laws for the Kohanim. And parts make sense for, for both ways, right? Um, the idea is how do we lead a sacred and holy, H-O-L-Y, Jewish life? Well, through ritual and through ethics. And this week's uh, Torah portion ends with a discussion of sexual ethics and uh, ritual and family purity. And that's a big issue in the book of Vayikra, the idea of purity, uh, blood purity, ritual purity, um, and the idea of bloodlines, right? Who is a legitimate son or daughter to a Kohen? And so that comes up a little bit later. But, and, but this week, it ends right at that point where they're starting that discussion. Uh, in number of mitzvot, who's for those of us who are following along, the mitzvot of the positive ones, there are two, two positive and 26 negative commandments, bringing this week's total up to 28, 28 meets vote in this week's Torah reading. I remember when I was a kid, uh, I forget where I first heard it, but I was a kid where we have this uh, Chinese curse, right? May you live in interesting times. Well, we live in interesting times right now. The world of 2022, I tell you, was is not what I imagined it would be when I was a child. I want to know where my flying cars are. I was promised flying cars in the 20th century, uh, 21st century. I waited. I became an adult. Where are my cars? Where are the interstellar vac vacations? Right? Where's the Death Star? Right? I don't know where all these things are. I was promised great, great um, things. Instead, we're on the brink of another world war. Instead, nationalism and its poison are spreading around the world, even in America. Here in America, poverty, homelessness, food insecurity, a raging battle still over civil rights, and the banning of books. Between July 1st, 2021, and March 31st, of 2022, over 1,100 books have been banned in 26 states. Texas, Pennsylvania, where I grew up, and Florida are the top three states in the banning of books. Florida, though, you got to give, I lived in Florida for eight years, and all the things what, that they laugh about. Uh, Non-Floridians laugh about about the, the stupid things people do in Florida. It's all true. It is all true. I know some of the people who, I don't know, wind up in the emergency room because they decided that they were going to try to wrestle an alligator or kiss an alligator. I mean, but Florida banned this week math textbooks. Now, I don't know about you, and it's been a long time since I've struggled with math. But there's nothing all that racy in a math textbook. Um, try as I might. I mean, nothing, nothing. Um, but it had inappropriate material. 
When pressed for what this inappropriate material was, Governor DeSantis um, couldn't cite anything, but he knew it was there. I grew up reading. I grew up hanging out at the local library. I have several degrees, at least three advanced degrees in English. I taught English at university. I don't think any book should be banned. No book, zero. Mein Kampf should not be banned. Germany banned it for almost 70 years, but I don't think it should be banned because we have to read about the ideas that are out there, the ideas that make us uncomfortable, the things that kind of make us go, ick. Look, if you're, a, if you're offended by a book, don't read it. It's the same logic that applies with the radio. If you don't like certain music, don't listen to it. You don't want to watch a certain movie, don't go. But don't tell me or my family that we can't. My dad was an amazing man. You, Unfortunately, none of you will ever get to meet him. But I was 10 years old and I came home from the library in a bit of a state and he asked me why. And I said, because I was sitting there, I was reading the book Jaws. Now, Peter Benchley's book, Jaws, Big Shark, right? 10 year old, 10, 10, 10 or 11 I was. I was reading it and the librarian came up and took it out of my hands and said, it's inappropriate for you to be reading. Now, my dad knew I was going up there to read the book Jaws. And he had read it and knew that there were, and I went back and read it as an adult then, again. And I realized that there were a lot, there was some racy stuff in that book, but at 10 years old, I missed it all. I went to the parts about the shark. That's what I was interested in. So when it started, you know, Brody and his wife kissed, I flipped, you know, till it said, ah, the shark just took somebody's leg off, right? That's what I read. But the librarian said, no, 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 you can't read this. And I told my dad this and he said, let's go. And we went up to the library and my father talked to, said to the, where's the librarian? And he talked not only to the librarian who took the book from my hand, but the head librarian and said, this doesn't work. None of you are his father. None of you are related to him. How dare you tell him he can't read something? Well, but it's got this and it's got that. And my father said, I know. And I knew he was reading it, but you don't get to make that decision for him. I get to make that decision for him. And I said he can read it, but he's not going to read it here. I'm going to go and buy him his own copy so he doesn't have to worry that somebody's going to take the book out of his hand here. But my father said, here's our here's the, the deal that I'm going to make with you, li Mr. Librarian. If you think my son is reading something inappropriate, here's my phone number. Call me. And then I'll decide what to do. Not you. I've read, because of that, most, uh, if not all, the banned books on, on the list. But here's the thing, right? We can't get away from the banning of books. People want to ban books now because of critical race theory, which if I had a dollar for every time somebody said critical race theory to me and I asked them, what exactly is it? I'd be rich because they don't know. Our politicians don't know. Most Americans don't know because you don't study it in elementary school or high school or even college. You study it in graduate school where I studied it. But that's there's that. And then, of course, there's the inappropriate material of the gay and lesbian stuff that is being secreted into the subconscious of our children and uh, making them gay and lesbian. Now, now, I was groomed to be straight when I was a kid. Right. I mean, everything was man and a woman, a man and a woman, a man and a woman. The TV shows, the comic, everything didn't work for me. I'm still gay. Had nothing to do with the books I read. But, you know, th there's a problem. Is that there's one book that is never on anybody's banned book list that if I had a banned book list, it would be number one. It's the Bible. I would ban the Bible. Now, it seems strange that a rabbi would say, <laughs> I'll ban the Bible. But all the things that the people who are banning books are afraid of 
or they're afraid of the children reading about violence. They're afraid of reading about this or that or another thing. Everything on the list of banned books that people find objectionable is in the Bible. I know. I've read the Bible in six or seven languages. It's all there. The really good stuff that everybody's afraid of, that the kid's going to read in some fiction book, it's in the Bible. And finally, somebody in Florida did something smart. A guy named, and I can't remember his name. Uh, I wrote it down. Uh, well, I'm sorry. I can't remember his name. I wrote it down. And Oh, Chaz Stevens. Chaz Stevens has petitioned, I forget how many school districts, to ban the Bible. Of course, people are laughing at him. But then he says, but I have reasons. Right? Within the first 20 chapters of Genesis, there's killing. There's incest. There's rape. There's murder. There's a guy that passes his wife off to another guy pretending that she's his sister. So the guy will sleep with his wife, but not kill the guy who's her husband. That's Abraham doing that to Sarah. He does it twice. Then his son does it to his wife. Um, there's bestiality. There's murder. There's uh, theft. There's adultery. And we're not even to the good stuff yet. Right? Later on in the Bible, there's genocide. There's regicide, killing of kings. There's a guy who makes a promise that he will kill the first thing that he sees when he comes home, and it's his daughter. So he kills her. I mean, if you want violence, if you want really, really stuff that'll keep you up at night, read the Bible. And if you're not going to be hypocritical, you're going to ban the Bible if you breathe a word about banning other books. You want to ban books, that's fine. Jews don't like having books banned. We've had many of our books banned, including, believe it or not, our Torah, because it had all those things in it. Our Talmud was banned and burned, but then again, so were we, in a place that banned and burned books. So the banning of books is not funny. It's not a laughing matter because it leads to other things. Jews never want books banned because we're the people of the book. We understand that knowledge, while it might be scary, is meant to be learned, meant to be experienced, right? Knowledge is power and power is knowledge. And so if you're banning books, what else are they going to ban? So before we chuckle too much about the banning of books, or if you're talking to someone who says, you know, we really should ban the book mouse because it has, you know, a swear word in it. Someday I'll point out the swear words in the Bible to you. They don't get translated into English, but they're there. Ask them. Ask them when somebody says we should ban book X or Y. Ask them if they're going to ban the Bible as well. Because if they say no, then they're hypocrites. And we don't need to listen to them. Back in the 1800s, a German Jewish poet named Heinrich Heine wrote words that... Oh, 60, 20, 70 years later came true. He wrote, Wo man Bucher verbrennt, verbrennt man auch am Ende Menschen. Where they burn books, in the end, they burn people. Think about that. And don't say it can't happen here. Because they're already starting to ban books. Shabbat Shalom and good I can see tomorrow's headline. Rabbi says ban Bible. At least I'd be quoted accurately for once. All right, page 282. 
Alenu, please. Oh, wait, sorry. No, no. Kiddish. My book is open to Kiddish, and I'm calling for Alenu. Yeah. It does not work that way. Uh oh, David's passing them out tonight. Well, we didn't. They weren't expecting a crowd. Well, ladies first. No, 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 no. Go ahead. One here too. Take it. Vaya here, vaya yom hashishi, vaya hulu hashamayim beharet, the whole tiva, vaya hal elohim, vayom hashbi, melachto asherasa, vayish boat, vayom hashbi. Mikobalachtoasherasavrihadonaienoenumelacholam <laughs> Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu Melech Olam, Asher Kiddushanu B'mitzvotav, Veratzavanu, Veshabbat Kodsho, Biahava Uvratzon, Inchilahanu, Zikaro Lemaasei Vereshit, Ki Hu Yom Techila, Lamikra Kodesh, Zecher letziat mitzrayim. Ki vanu vacharta, v'yotanu kidashta, mikohol ha-hamim. V'shabat kotshecha, v'yahava uvratzon, inchaltanu. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekahadesh HaShabbat. All right. Now, now page 282. Now it's the time for Aleinu. You're Alina la Shabea, la Dahon Hako, la Te Tidula, the Oxer Breshi, Shalho Asanu Kugoye Haratzot, Velo Hosam Hanu, Kemishpahot Hadama, Shalho Sam Helke Nukahem, Vegohora Lenu, Keho Havonam. Manach nu korim, umishtachavim umodim, lifne melech, malche hamlachim, a kadosh barufu. Shehu no teshamayim vioser ahagetz, umoshev yekabro vashamayim vimahal, ushinatuzo, ushinatuzo, they go pay me ever home. Who will oh hey do? Eh, eh, oh. And then talk hey do. Ephesu lato. Kaka hatu. Vitora hato. The adata hayo. The hashibosa. Eleva beha. Ki Adonai Hua Elohim, Vasha Hamai Mimal, the Alharet, the Alharet, the Itahat.
This week, we observe the following yard sites. David Feinberg, Eve Feinberg's relative, Abe Schiff, Mary Cantor's brother, Rena Stern's uncle. Nathan Robert Baker, David's father. Ray D. Glick, David and Billy's aunt. Leah Mendel, husband of Max, uh, wife of Max, mother of Ruth Mendel Shradsky. Beatrice Geringer, Jacob Shradsky, Harold's father. Herman Silberstein, Jack Hyman's uncle. David Barker, David Baker, husband of Janet, son of Edna and Nathan. Irene Island. Lena, Fried, Lena Friedman, Pauline's cousin, Israel Greenstein, Irving's grandfather, and Harry's father. Hannah Miller, B. Geringer's mother. Otto Aller, husband of Anita Herbert. Lillian E. Finn, relative of Mina Poland. Julius Friedman, Pauline's cousin, husband to Lena. Leo Shradsky, Harold's relative. Isidore Shradsky, Harold's brother from Ashland. Sid Cohen, David's brother, Carlos Sweeney, Scott Murphy's grandfather, Mildred Wormser, Victor's wife, mother of Sam and Ron, Rachel Rose Glazer, Samuel's wife, mother of Herman, Norman, and Simon. May their souls be bound up in the bond of life eternal. May their memories be a blessing to us always, and may they all rest in peace. Mourner's Kaddish is found on page 294. Yitz Kadal, Vid Kadash, Me Raba, Belma, Tivra, Hirute, Vianlik, Mahute, Behaye Hon, Udio Meho, Udhaye, the whole Beit Israel, Baagala, Visman, Kari, Vim Ru, Ame, Yehe, Shme, Raba, Vorach, Lilam, Lome, Maya, Yit Vorach, Vish Tabach, Vit Paar, Vit Romam, Vit Nase. The Yitadar, the Yitale, the Yitala, Shme, the Kurisha, Rihu. Lay la, mean call, Birhata, Vishirata, Tushbahata, Benechamata, the Amiram, the Alma, the Imru, Amen. Yehe, Shlama, Raba, mean Shemaya, the Chaim, Alenu, the Alko, Yisrael, the Imru, Amen. O se shalom, be Ramah, who ya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael v'yimru. Amen. All right, friends. Shabbat shalom and good Shabbos. All right, just a couple of quick announcements. <coughs> um, services tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. And then again on Sunday at 9 a.m. And, you know, there's something on Sunday. I can't remember what it is. What is it? Uh yeah. No, no, it's not the raffle. Yes, it's the raffle. And I remember it. It's the raffle on Sunday. Come and uh, hang out with us during Sunday afternoon. Doors open at noon. Right. Noon. And it goes till? Probably five, five, six. five. Judy says five, six, seven. Depends when, no, you know. No, I'm, jo I'm joking. Depends when people get tired. But it's Sunday afternoon. Come and spend. Just drop in. Say hello and uh, see us. All right. Um, no more tickets. It's all done. All right. Up until one o'clock, you can get your lucky ticket on uh, Sunday. So uh, there you go. So it's not too late to get your, you know, first or 101st ticket, uh, you know, whatever. But uh, do join us on Sunday. Uh, Monday night, we're back for a deep dive into Genesis. Wednesday, we are back uh, with the Yiddish Choir, uh, best little Yiddish Choir from coast to coast, uh, working on Shavuot stuff, from what I understand. And uh, I think that's it. No meetings this week. Uh, it's a quiet week, except after the after the, the raffle. So do come and join us. You'll you'll be glad you did. Be a lot of fun. 
All right, let us close out uh, this, this evening service 321. Adon Alam. Adon Alam Hashem Halach, Veterem Kol Yitzir Nivra, Liet Nasa Bechef Sokol, Azai Melech Shemo Nikra, Biachare Kiklot Hakol. Levaha do ye blow hook no hora. The who haya, the who ho be. The who ye ebeti fara. The who echad, the ain't shame me. La ham shillo, la hath be hira. The lee he she, the lee tahli. The lo haos, the ham is ra. The who a lee, the high go a lee. The Zor Hevli be a Sahara, the Huni see who manosly, Menad Kosi be o mekra, be a hado of Kidruhi, be a Dishan be a Hayira, the Imruhi give a tea, Adonahi, the Loira. All right, I can actually see who says hello to us tonight on the interwebs. There's Melanie Samuels. Good Shabbos to all of you in Huntington from Melanie in the holy city of Brooklyn. ML Glazer and Herman wish all a good Shabbat and a week of peace. Thank you, ML and Herman. Thank you, Melanie, as well. There's Cliff Wanamaker. Shabbat Shalom to all from Rabbi's mom and Cliff. Thanks, mom and Cliff. Melanie Samuels back again. Bravo, Rabbi, for what you said, re-banning books. Well, thank you, uh, Brenda Glick. Shabbat Shalom to all from Brenda and Billy. Thank you, Brenda and Billy. Brenda, we missed you this evening, but I uh, hope all is well. And so, all right, friends, everybody have a good Shabbos, a Shabbat Shalom, and a good Shabbos. Enjoy the beautiful weather. We'll see you at the raffle. Um, be careful out there, and we'll see you soon. Thank you.